Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you? And welcome to another video of mine. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the possibility of Titanfall 3 releasing in 2019. Because there has been a lot of clickbait headlines, you know, articles going around the games media saying how Titanfall 3 coming in 2019, well, I'm kind of having to debunk that in this video because there's a good reason for that. So I'm going to be discussing Jedi Fallen Order as well and another Respawn game. So the last couple of days has seen some information come out of the quarterly earnings call from EA. And in the prepared notes, Andrew Wilson, the CEO of EA, specifically states, across multiple studios, we have new projects underway, including games from Respawn that are slated to launch by the next holiday season. He said games, not game. And we already know that Jedi Fallen Order is coming in the holiday of 2019, most likely November, just like with every other Star Wars game. So in 12 months from now, and that means they're definitely having another game come out at the end of next year as well. So what is this other game? Obviously, most people jump to saying it's going to be Titanfall 3, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Well, CFO Blake Jorgensen confirmed that Wilson's mention of several games was an Easter egg for Respawn fans. And he said, we'll be announcing more when we get there, but we've clearly got a lot of things working with all of our studios. And you should assume that, that there will be some things we haven't announced that come out later in the year when we go to give guidance for the next year. So, like I said, most people jumped straight away to saying it's going to be time for free. But... There's a VR game in development at Respawn. So last November, 12 months ago, Respawn announced a partnership with Oculus to create an Oculus VR game. And this was going to be completely different to Jedi Fallen Order or Titanfall. It was not going to be a Star Wars or Titanfall related game. And it's been made by a separate teams. So at Respawn, there are three different teams. There is the Titanfall team working on the next Titanfall game. This has been confirmed a long time now, like over a year ago. And then we have a Star Wars team making Jedi Fallen Order. And then we have a small team, which is the VR team working on this new game. And at the end of the announcement video, it said 2019. Now, date shift, of course, and this was a year ago, so it's totally possible this game doesn't come out in 2019, it comes out in 2020. However, there is a new Oculus wireless headset releasing in the spring of 2019. It's going to have a lot of new games and experiences on it, including Vader Immortal, that three-part series being made by David Goya, and I can't wait for that. But it would make perfect sense for Respawn to being a close partner of Oculus, to have their game in the post-launch window of this new product. This could be anything from the release date all the way until the end of the year. I just don't think at the moment Titanfall 3 is going to be in 2019. It's most likely going to be this Oculus Rift project, and then we'll have probably Titanfall 3 in the beginning of 2020. Because if you think about it, if they release late 2020, that'll be three years of development time, but they'll be going up against a new Battlefield, most likely, Call of Duty as well, and there'll be a launch of a new console, potentially, in the form of a PlayStation 5 or the next Xbox, if they do choose the 2020 release date. It will just sandwich Titanfall in there, and we know what happened last time. It lost out to Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remaster. So if we get it at the start of 2020, they'll have just over two years, like two and a half years development time, which is six months longer than the other games, which is good to hear, to be honest. And they can also have people shift on to Jedi Fallen Order if they need to move some people around. Of course, Jedi Fallen Order will have been out a few months by then, and they're completely different games at the end of the day. Who knows, this VR game might be a shooter. It seems to me it will be a shooter. I mean, that is what Respawn are notorious for. They are the best at creating shooter games. Although Jedi Fallen Order isn't going to be a shooting game as such. It's going to be lightsaber combat. But it is a completely different team and will still have the DNA of Respawn. I just can't see them having Titanfall 3 when there is this VR game floating around. It's a smaller project, smaller team. It makes sense to have them split up, so we have Jedi Fallen Order in, say, November, this VR game in something like October, 
And then in March, April time of 2020, we get the new Titanfall game. There will be a lot less competition, and it's such a shame we're going to have to wait even longer for a new Titanfall game. But And if we have to wait, that's okay, because if it's better the product at the end of the day, that's worth it. So let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on everything I've discussed in this video. Do you think Titanfall 3 is going to be releasing next year? I just can't see this happening unless, of course, they come out and say next year that it is and the VR game is delayed until 2020, but it seems unlikely at this moment in time. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you are new around here, and remember to check out any of my two previous videos on screen if you did miss them, and I shall see you all in my next video. Goodbye.